Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and we have a big update on Nintendo's release schedule for this year, including one of the major upcoming games being moved back, well, or really forward, an entire two months, but back in the calendar year. It's a little strange what Nintendo's doing, they also happen to announce a special edition for it that I want to be excited for, but I actually am sort of dreading it. Uh, so before we get into this, hey everyone, if you enjoyed today's news and you want to stay up to date on the latest Nintendo news, gaming news, whatever, opinions, discussion points, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and leave a comment down below. Now let's get into the news, and right away, we got this. So I retweeted this from Nintendo of America, to so step into the world of a... Onios? I, I, I never know how to pronounce this, I'm not a huge... Um, Xenoblade aficionado, but Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is sooner than expected. It's now going to come on Nintendo Switch on 729, so the end of July. Check out the latest trailer, and you know, we'll we'll show a little bit of this footage right now. Or what I find interesting about this entire thing is the idea that uh yeah, we're moving this up two months. Remember, this was originally an September title, not even a summer title, a September title. Now, if you look at the way things are going, we got Mario Strikers in June, now we have this in July. I sort of think this makes Splatoon 3 an August game. Remember, Splatoon 3 is still slotted for summer, so I'm, I'm starting to think Splatoon 3 is going to be coming in August, which is still summer, by the way. People sometimes don't realize that August is still summer. So Splatoon 3 in summer, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 in, in July, and uh, Mario Strikers in June. I think that's how Nintendo's lining up. It is possible they can launch Splatoon 3 at the beginning of July, by the way, but I just don't think they're going to do that. I think that's how they're going to line up their major exclusives for this summer. But this does obviously open up a release slate for later this year because remember, we were sort of banking on this holiday season at this point was going to be, what, Xenoblade Chronicles in, uh, in September and then maybe Bayonetta 3 in October and then Pokemon in November and then, you know, maybe some other unannounced game in December. But now this kind of opens up a major slot for them. I don't know if they're going to, you know, now they make Bayonetta 3 a September game, but then you're not just going to have just Pokemon, right? I mean, it is possible. We did just have only Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, you know, back in 2020. So it is possible we don't really have anything else. But I feel like Nintendo did this because they have something else to announce for later this year. A game we have yet to hear about for later this year. Remember, Breath of the Wild 2 was delayed to 2023. So I feel like I could pretty confidently say that yes, Nintendo clearly has something else planned for the end of this year that they have not unveiled yet. And that's not shocking. Nintendo doesn't always have everything unveiled at this point, even though we do know about a lot of games. Now, one thing that's interesting is at the end of this trailer and then a separate tweet from Nintendo themselves shows off a special edition of Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which normally I'd be really excited about collectors and special editions, even limited editions, uh, which this one's going to obviously be. Uh, but here's the problem. It's launching exclusively on the My Nintendo Store, which is an online store from Nintendo. Look, selling it on the online store isn't a problem, but it's available exclusively there. That means no other retailer can get it. This means you can't go in person and make pre-orders for it. You can get it from one single online store that only accepts credit cards, doesn't accept debit cards. And you know what that means? This is going to be the most highly scalped special edition of the entire year. I can safely say this right now because when you only make it available at one retailer and the retailer is yourself and you only make it available online, here's the bottom line. Hardly any real fans of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 are going to be able to get their hands on it. And they don't tell us when pre-orders are going to open for this special edition, but bottom line is it is a hot mess and this is going to make people really really struggle to get this and and pay secondhand market prices it's it's going to be insane i i want to be excited about the special edition with the steel book and the art and everything i think it's, it looks fantastic it's just my lord we know what's going to happen this thing is going to be the most heavily scalped special edition of the year uh because nintendo it just it's almost as if these companies don't learn. Now, Nintendo and other companies, they just know things are going to sell out, things are going to sell out, they don't really care. Money's money to them. But at some point, it would be nice if they cared about the consumer and would make these more widely available, like they did with Zelda. Remember, Breath of the Wild had multiple special editions, and they were available at many online retailers, as well as in person retail outlets for pre-orders and that in person is key because that's one of the ways you could circumvent a bit of the scalping since 
primarily scalping tends to happen online. Now, all of that being said, hey, look, this game is available to pre-order right now. We'll have a Best Buy affiliate link and an Amazon affiliate link, I believe, down in the description. I think those are the two places that it is up for pre-order at this exact moment. Uh, but still, I'm I'm just, ugh. I'm, I'm, I'm happy on one hand because Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is coming closer than we expect. It's literally going to be here in five months and ten days. Hey, that's Awesome. Thank you, Nintendo. Wait, wait, wait. Did I say five months and 10 days? Oh, wait, no. Now it's three months and 10 days. That's right. It's coming super quick. I'm really excited that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is going to be here sooner than later. Uh, but this obviously opens up the holiday slate, which is going to begin a lot of speculation. Hey, are we going to get Twilight Princess in the Wind Waker HD? Are we going to get some other Zelda remake? Because Nintendo has some sort of Zelda game every year. And with Breath of the Wild in 2023, what's going to be that Zelda game this year? Is that what's going to fill it in? Maybe, could be, is it going to be a new Mario game? We're overdue for a new Mario game. Remember, the last true new Mario game we got was Super Mario Odyssey in 2017. Everything since then has either been the spinoffs or just been re-releasing old games. Even Bowser's Fury, which is utterly amazing, was attached to an old game, so it didn't really feel like a full game in that of itself, even though I'd argue Bowser's Fury is utterly amazing and probably could have released as a standalone product for 30 bucks and done phenomenal. But here's the thing. Whatever's going to happen this holiday is now up for debate. Uh, we'll probably be talking about it on our next podcast episode. Uh, but hey, you know what? We got a new trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We got an announcement of a special edition that pretty much none of us are going to be able to buy. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go get my pre-order in right now for Xenoblade Chronicles 3 because I am I already know. Special edition. I'm not, I'm not going to bother to fight with scalpers. It's just not worth, it's not worth the frustration of fighting with checkout and the site crashing and, and just... You know, they're, they're only having like a hundred of them available and it's just, uh, I'm, yeah, no, I'm going to pretend the special edition doesn't exist. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel RoboJazz from Nintendo Prime. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this. Are you excited that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is now coming earlier? I think if you're a Xenoblade Chronicles fan, you're clearly going to be pretty happy you get to play it sooner. And then what you think is going to be coming later this year? What is Nintendo filling out that end of your slate? Because now it feels like they've opened it up. Right? Like, according to at least what we know now, we have we have Scarlet and Violet, and then we have Bayonetta 3. What else is coming after, you know, after August, I would say? Because, you know, let's, let's presume Splatoon 3 is still coming this summer. I know some people could say, well, Nintendo could now delay Splatoon 3. That is a valid thought process, but since they didn't announce a delay for it, uh, I'm going to presume it's still coming summer. I don't really think Nintendo's magically going to delay that. I think Nintendo's just going to have a killer summer lineup. I mean, Strikers and Xenoblade and Splatoon. I mean, that's one of the better summer lineups we've had for Switch to date. So, I don't know. This is this is going to be crazy, and I can't wait. So, you know what, folks? Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.